All right, so um, surprise, surprise again. Doing a little bit of a pl I'm probably gonna do this playthrough. Uh, if you can't tell by now, the title. This is Penumbra Overture. I think it is the first one. Overture, Penumbra, basically. Um, PC game was released in 2009, I believe, from uh, some you know French uh, pr uh, publisher. Or game producer, whatever you want to call him. Um, I basically I was I was emailed uh, or actually I got a message through YouTube from someone. They sent me uh, someone doing a playthrough of this game, and I was like surprised at the game because it was like very interactive, um, looked very unique, very interesting, and I thought it would lend well to a playthrough. So I um. I downloaded a copy, and we're going to go into it. I mean, if you guys like it, let me know, and we'll, we'll keep playing it, but we're going to try it out. We're going to start off, start it off, um, we're going to go with hard. We always like to go hard, you know. Alright, let's sit back and enjoy. My story began in February. Year 2000. Get that money, that inheritance, baby. So this guy's a physicist, physics professor. It took me almost a year to look at the last flight I'd ever taken. As I watched civilization disappear along the Heath Road, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago. He must have been dead. And I could tell him in turn what it was that I was doing. We landed on a strip of ice for a big white, and within minutes I was pulling away from the Charleston boat. Wow. I began a 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. This guy got balls, man. Are you trying to be Nathan Drake now? You can just sit the hell back somewhere. <laughs> he got an inheritance from his father, so he decides to just get up and go. Okay, this looks like an FMV. Finally, we're almost docked. I'd better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pick things up using left mouse, and I can take a closer look at things using right mouse. Okay. Wow, this looks pretty nice. The frame rate kind of sucks though. Why is it only 15? It's only recording at 15. That's kind of sucks. I might have to mess with that a little bit. But for now, let's uh. Okay, I can look at this map. I'm certain this map's a good decade or so out of date, but landmarks don't change much in Greenland, so I've got a pretty decent idea of where I'm heading. Okay. What do we got here? There's no cursor. There's a book. Oh, I took it. Always good to have a notebook J to jot down information and reminders. Okay. Okay. So I can actually... I think I left my torch in the desk drawer next to the bed. It could be open using my left mouse on it, holding the button down and moving the mouse next to the bed. Okay, well... Whiskey Empty Shame. Oh, 
look at that. Yeah, you can interact with like everything, well, most things. Cool. Can I take this little can of soup? Oh, I want it. All right. Well, they told me to uh, get something from what the fuck? The desk. I can look at this. Ooh, look at that. It's fucking cool, man. It's a rickety wooden desk. I can get the drawer open. Okay. Let's open this bitch. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Good thing I remember to bring a flashlight so it's it's so old it drains a couple of batteries an hour. Come here, give me that. There we go. Flashlight, flashlight switches on and off via the inventory tab, or hopefully with the shortcut key, F. Now, where's that emergency glow stick should still be in the locker? Close. Okay, I got the flashlight. The locker. It's fucking locked. Always travel with a padlock and a key, preferably... Oh! It's Okay, so I have my I have a key. What, what do I do? Battery. Oh, double click. Nice. That open says to me. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, could come in handy if the torch runs out of batteries. I should be able to access it through my okay. What is this? Flashlight, batteries. Okay, so it says this should be everything I need. Um, is there anything else I can interact with? There's a lot to look at. From the smell, I'd say there's an equal chance they use this chest for personal belongings or bait. Move this chair out of the way. Pretty odorous. Glad I'm getting out of here soon. They must eat and sleep and, well, do everything else in this one room for weeks at a time. Anything else to look at? Can I open this? I can. Nice. A letter. Dearest Eric. Fisherman's wife's love letter. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you sit sail and leave me once again. I left you a little something to remember me by the chest at the foot of your bed. I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board. Taking shifts because because of it is no way to get the get is, is no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of life at sea? I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need so that you can come home to my safety to me safely and soon. Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes. But I do love you, you know. I've washed those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time. But I still feel better knowing they've had a wash. Before I forget, the Henriksons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any any trout. But I said they were mostly out of, out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything now. Don't say anything. Stow them well in the ice, and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to me. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care of my love. Alright, so... How do I get out of this? So what, she gave him whiskey? I can't take it, so what the fuck's the point? It won't close. That's cool. That's physics right there. Look at that. Can't close it. Alright, so. I guess that's everything. Let's get out of here. Oh! As I stepped off the boat, setting onto the blizzard that had formed around me, 
I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had, I have, I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after, and new hyper hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. Whoa. Need shelter. Okay. Good idea. What the fuck was that? My entire head went numb a long time ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Ugh, shit. Yo, it's like fucking creepy the way it's doing that. It says I need shelter, but... Where do they want me to go? If I click on hold, I should just about manage to pick up that rock. The cold's made me weak, but I can still throw things using the examine button when I'm carrying something. Maybe I should carry a rock just in case something attacks me. Why can't I pick it up? There we go. Fuck! I'm like getting I'm like getting hurt by this cold. Shit! Hurry up! Give me. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Before I fucking die. Oh wow. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, I'm kinda confused, man. Yeah, I'm about to die. What the fuck? Open, damn it. Oh, I died. <laughs> I died, wow. Alright, let's try this again. It's kind of animal. I want to take this rock. Fuck that, man. What are they talking about R? Oh, you can move it more, I guess. I guess that's true. Alright, now let's try to do this again. Why can't I? I gotta break this, okay. Hurry up! There we go. Come on. Is it open? Come on! It should be open. Why can't I open this thing? Yo, I'm, I'm confused. It is not letting me open it. What am I doing wrong? And I died. <laughs> so the first puzzle I cannot beat. All right, let's... Right now, uh, let's try this. So it has to go this way. Is that it? Now. I should be able to open it, right? There we go. Now it opens. Finally. Holy shit. <laughs> it didn't work last time. Am I still freezing to death? Alright, I'm inside. 
Uh, why is it pitch black? Why do I hear voices? Uh, where am I? I'm still hurt? Jesus. Can I get my inventory or something? I can't feel my arms and legs anymore. I'm in trouble. Oh, shit. I'm, like, gonna die. Actually, I think it's getting better. Alright. Why did I see eyes before? Empty boxes of ammunition. Oh, great. What's this? Okay. Fell kind of far there. Steel rod. Hello. And a flare. Very nice. I hope it's open, yes. That would be nice. Another flare. Give me. Let's see if this is open. Okay, can't open that. I've jotted a note down. Open. A ration pack. So I guess I can't take that. Oh, look at this. A hammer. Oh. A stabbing motion. Let me try that out. Okay. How do you use this thing? Oh wow, you actually hold it. Oh wow, what the fuck? Interesting. Very interesting. You can stab with it. Bang, bang. Do like a swipe with it. Cool. Alright, let's put that away. I could break this. Move. Oh, hello. Ow. Let's try to move this thing. Damn, heavy ass fucking cupboard. Oh, I can't grab this. Oh, well. Let's try to break this bad boy. Boom. Boom. Smash this shit. Come on. There we go. <laughs> that was cool. Alright. How do I duck? There it is. Control. Why the fuck is it turned purple when I duck? That? Why is it doing that? 
Okay, that's kind of scary, but whatever. Let's move on. What was that noise? Oh, fuck, it's like a maze down here. I can go up, or let's go this way first. Oh, God. Wait, how do I save? I haven't saved in a minute. Hold on. Are you telling me there's no save option? You can't save? What the fuck is that about? Wow, you can't even save? That sucks. Oh, well, let's... Make sure... It's usually like F5 or... I don't know, just, I guess I gotta hope they're saving it for me. Some kind of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. Alright. Oh my god! What was that? Oh, for fuck's sake, what the fuck was that, man? Jesus.